going to take you through today is a bit of servicing work. So servicing, in particular example here, we're going to be looking at an M-series Zen unit. One of the first things we're going to do is, I want to make sure it's working fine just to start off with, because it's going to give me clues to what I'm going to be doing. Way of doing that, just run it up in cooling, run it up in heating, and have a feel. Once I'm happy with how it's operating, the next thing I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to isolate the system, then I'm going to start taking the covers off. I'm making sure I'm in a nice, safe working environment. So I've checked all around me and made sure there's nothing dangerous around me, nothing I'm going to fall on. One of the things I'm going to do here is I'm going to move those louvers out of the way just to make my life a little bit easier. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to look over that coil and I'm going to look for any obvious damage. I'm also seeing how dirty that coil is. I'm also going to have a little sniff just to see if I can smell anything particularly bad. Let's give myself an idea what's going on with the system. Then you see here I've actually put a little bit of a, a cover around the unit stopping put any chemicals or anything else that I'm going to be using to actually clean that coil onto the customer's walls. Then I've used some evaporator cleaner and then obviously thoroughly rinse that through because obviously those are quite harsh chemicals and I want to make sure that coil is nice and clean and we haven't left any of those chemicals actually on the coil. At the same time, it's an opportunity to look at the state of that coil. Yeah, Throughout, I'm going to be checking the state of that coil and I'm also looking for any oil residue or anything like that to give you an inclination if there's any leaks. Once I've taken the covers off the unit, it's a good opportunity to have a look and see the state of the unit. Yeah, so I'm going to be looking at the state of the filters, how much debris and dirt is built up on the covers. It's just giving me a little bit of clues about you know, what needs to be done. And obviously whilst we've got those filters out, we're going to give them a quick clean and inspect them for any damage. Once I'm happy with the state of that coil, I've inspected it all. Then I'm going to put the covers back on. Once I've done that, I'm then going to make sure the actual unit's working fine. So we power the system back up, run it all up. Okay, Google, switch on the air conditioning. And just make sure those louvers are actually moving correctly. Just correct operation. So what I'm going to talk you through now is how to service the outdoor unit. So the first thing I do is have a little quick visual inspection, have a feel, just see how it's all working to start off with. Yeah, it's a good base point. Once you've done that, what I'd like you to do is isolate the unit. We're then going to take the covers off the unit. Then we'll take the covers off the unit, proper thorough clean. And a good inspection at the same time, so I'm looking for any oil leaks, something like that. But I'm also going to have a look to see if there's any damage to the unit as well. Once you're happy with how well clean the unit is, and you've made sure the fins are all correct and everything like that, so you might need to use a fin comb to straighten those fins up. If there's been any damage. Checking the, the actual joints, so I'll get some leak detection spray. Once you're happy with all that, start putting the covers back together on it. And from there, I'm going to put the covers back on. back onto the unit and then we're going to test operation and make sure it's all working fine. 